Hello, welcome back to Equilibrium. Today we're going to be talking about the eight myths and misconceptions about spirituality. Because there's a lot of stigma surrounded by spirituality, there's a, there's a real lack of understanding about what it really is and there's a lot of common myths and misconceptions about what it means to be spiritual. So today we're going to be debunking those. So, first of all, there's this idea that you have to meditate or practice yoga every day in order to be spiritual. And this isn't what spirituality is really about. You can meditate and practice yoga and be spiritual, but it's not a requirement to be spiritual. So, spirituality is more about that inner exploration of the self and of the world around you. And so, you can be spiritual without practicing yoga and without meditating. <laughs> but you can also meditate and practice yoga and not be spiritual. So. It's not a requirement and it's not essential that you do them. You can do them and be spiritual, but you can do them and also not be spiritual. Second of all, there's a lot of misconception about spirituality that it's the same thing as religion or that you have to be religious or believe in God in order to be spiritual. And again, spirituality is more of an individual thing. It's an individual exploration and seeing who you are, what your life's purpose is and what your life's meaning is. Some people who are spiritual do believe in God and they are religious as well and vice versa as well. Some people are religious and they're not spiritual so again it's not something that you have to be or it's not interchangeable the two. Religion tends to be more about believing in God or believing in a deity and following like certain rules or living your life in a certain way because of that and like in with a community of like-minded people, whereas spirituality is more about that individual individuality and that your your own personal journey through life. Another misconception about um, spirituality is that you have to be happy and positive and optimistic all the time. And a lot of spiritual gurus on the internet basically say that spirituality is always about being positive and always about being happy and great and everything's wonderful, but that's not necessarily what it is. I mean, it's because it's that because it's, it's spirituality is more about you and your journey through life. And the more spiritual you become, the more the more of an understanding you have about yourself and the way you are being in alignment with who you are supposed to be. That is naturally going to make you more happy and more positive because you'll be living your life as who you truly are. So you can be more optimistic as a result of that but it's not necessarily about being happy and positive all the time you do have bad days you do have negative moments and it's it's about working on yourself and working on those toxic traits or your negative traits or your shadow work doing all that and working through that to become a healthier happier more positive person but it's not about being positive and happy all of the time that 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 kind of that's not what spirituality is and it's kind of like that toxic positivity is not what spirituality is really about. Another misconception is that you have to change who you are or you become a completely different person as a result of going on a spiritual journey and that's really not what spirituality is either. In essence, it's, it's, spirituality is you're not changing who you are, you're just becoming a more you version of you. You're becoming in alignment with who you truly are, you're becoming the truest, best form of yourself. You're not changing, or you're not having a complete, you're not having a complete overhaul of your entire personality. You're just be, be living in alignment with who you are and who you are supposed to be. That doesn't change who you are. You're just being the best version of yourself. Another misconception about the spirituality is that is it's about bending the universal laws to get what you want. There's this idea, I've seen a lot on social media about, you know, manifest the life of your dreams, manifest the car of your dreams, manifest whatever you want. That's not what manifesting is about. The law of manifestation states that your thoughts and your energy create your reality. So in a simplest term, if your thoughts and your energy is more, is, is more positive, it is more, happy then you're more likely to have a more happy or better day or feel better with about yourself and who you are and likewise if you have a negative thought you're more likely to have a negative day you're more likely to notice that things tend to go wrong in the day so that's what the manifest 
the law of manifestation states. It's not about bringing forth any kind of materialistic desires that you have or having whatever dream car you want or dream life you want or you know manifesting whatever you want in your life. That's not about what it is. It's not about those materialistic desires. It's more about your how your energy and your thoughts create your reality because that's what's really all about because spirituality is not about just like getting whatever you want all the time it's about being who you are and being in alignment with who you truly are it's really about just who you are it's not about what you have or what you do and in essence spirituality is not necessarily about having those materialistic desires or those needs or wants or being materialistic and in a way it's just about being who you are and who you're supposed to be and not about just having whatever you want in life. Although if you were in alignment with who you are, you probably would be finding that you have whatever you want in life. But it's not about, this, oh, I want this fancy car, so I'm going to manifest it. It's not really what, that, that's not what spirituality is really about. Likewise, you don't have to do certain things or take certain actions in order to be spiritual. This goes on from the point about not having to do meditation or yoga. It's not about, you know, having certain things or doing certain things. It's not about having crystals or, I don't know, t having a tattoo of a chakra or something on your body. It's not about any of that. It's not about what you have or what you wear or what you do or what you look like. It's really about who you are and being in alignment with who you are and who you are supposed to be. And it's about healing from your past and, and working through your past trauma and, and being in alignment and uh, having that better understanding of your best self. Also, you don't. Uh, another misconception is that you have to go on a pilgrimage to all these holy places and visit all these um, holy buildings or whatever. And that's not what spirituality is about, because true spirituality is wherever you are. You don't have to go to a certain place in the world in order to have a spiritual experience or a spiritual awakening or to in order to be a spiritual person. You don't have to travel to, you know, India and find out about ancient India. I mean, that would be great if that's for you, but it's, you don't have to do that. You don't have to visit holy places or holy locations or any kind of spiritual location in the world. It's because truly spirituality is that who you are. So that would be wherever you go in the world and wherever you are and whatever you're doing, spirituality will be there. You don't have to go to a certain location or take a certain journey to a certain place. Finally, spirituality is not about escaping from your reality. It's more about being present in your reality and, and seeing things what they are. It's like being who you are and seeing the world as it is and seeing other people as they are. And it's about being in alignment with your highest self. So you don't have to escape from anything when you're in alignment with your highest self. So I hope this helps about a bit more about spirituality and um, the common myths and misconceptions about what spirituality is and what it's, who, what it means to be a spiritual person. So hope you enjoyed that video. Please do subscribe for more videos like this. See you.